Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song called The Path from The Last of Us soundtrack. And we're going to kind of walk through the rhythm of, of a part and then kind of walk through the, the lead guitar licks to, uh, to, to a part. But we're going to start on a B minor chord for, for kind of our, our beginning rhythm part. And the way you play B minor, first finger is going to go across the entire second fret, second finger on the B string on the third fret, third finger on the D string on the fourth fret, and the pinky on the G string on the fourth fret. And we'll talk about it, an easier way to do this in a moment. But if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord. And it sounds really, really sad. And then another way to play B minor, though, if you're just starting out and you just want to avoid the bar chord, is to kind of take little pieces of a bar chord and then kind of play that as the chord. So, so with this particular shape, you can take the first finger and go to the high E on the second fret, second finger on the G or B string on the third fret, and third finger on the G string on the fourth fret. And if you show them the top three or the top four strings, that's another way to kind of play B minor. You'll notice that's kind of like a little piece of the bar shape we're just using. And if you're a little bit more adventurous, you could take the third finger and kind of go to the D string on the four and take the pinky and go to the G string on the fourth fret and kind of get a little bit thicker kind of B minor sound by playing the top four strings. And then from the B minor on our intro, we're going to be going to an A major chord. And when you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an like A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the A major on our intro, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. And when you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor chord, we're going to go back to our B minor chord. And at the very end of our, kind of our intro section is what, how I'm kind of thinking of this, we're, we're going to an F sharp minor chord. And one way to do an F sharp minor chord is actually to keep the, the first finger down on the second fret for the bar, and then third finger on the A string, fourth, pinky on the D string on the fourth. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F sharp minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. But just like the B minor with the bar, if you want to take your first finger and kind of just work it as a small chord and kind of bar a smaller amount of strings, that can be a very, very cool thing to kind of work eventually into like the full bar with the F sharp minor. And what it sounds like in the recording is we're just doing one big down on each of those chords. So we got B minor, A major, E minor, B minor, F sharp minor. But there's some really cool lead guitar parts through that part where you can start. Now there's some really cool intro licks around the, those chords though through our intro. And you can kind of play that opening lead part by going second fret on the low E string, second fret on the A string, and then second fret on the A again. And then we're gonna go to fourth fret on the A, and then open D, and then two on the D string, and then two on the D string again. And then we play two on the D string again, but do a slide to fourth fret. So I'm kind of playing two and kind of keeping enough pressure to kind of get my, my second finger to slide to four. So you got two, two, four, oh, two, 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 four. And the notes you're actually kind of playing are almost like a little B minor arpeggio where you're playing like little pieces of the notes of the chord. Because a B minor chord is actually B's, D's, and F sharps. And what you're playing through this arpeggio is kind of an F sharp, B, B, C sharp, B, E, E. F sharp, so it's all around kind of those, those, that B, D, F sharp note. And then around the A chord, actually, we start on the open E, and then open A, and then fourth on the A, and then second on the D, and then open D, and then F, uh, uh, fourth fret on the A string. And that's actually kind of around an A major arpeggio, which would be A, C sharps, and E's are what make this chord, actually. So what you're playing through that lick is E, A, C sharp, and then E, D, C sharp. So it's around those notes of the chord. And then on the E minor chord, then we're kind of playing open E, and then third fret on low E, second fret on the D, second fret on the D, and then open D, and then two on the D, and then we play two on the D and kind of do a slide to fourth fret on the D string. So kind of doing that E, F sharp. And actually, that's kind of around the notes of the E minor chord, too. E minors are made up of E's and G's and B notes. And we're playing E, G, B, E, D, E, E, F sharp with that lick. And then from there, then we're going to play fourth on the D, open D, second on the A, second on the low E, and then open D, and then end on fourth fret on the A string for a C sharp note. So now we're playing F sharp, D, B, F sharp, D, C sharp. You kind of notice those are around kind of that B minor notes too. That, that whole F sharp, D, B, F sharp, D is all notes of B minor. And when you hit that F sharp or C sharp note, it's kind of a little piece of F sharp minor. And if you wanted to, it could be kind of cool to kind of strum the chord and then do a lick. So you could do B minor, two, two, four, 
O, two, 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 four, slide. A major, an E, A, four, and two, O, four. And you almost feel like you have to kind of leave off that first note to kind of, or, or actually that would be a good way to kind of abbreviate, you just made that part of the chord. And then you have the E minor, three, two, two, O, two, two, four, slide. And then over the B minor, we got the four, O, two, two, O, four. And that four is kind of around the F sharp minor. So there's some ways you could kind of like strum the chord and then play the, the next part of the lick, kind of cheating it, kind of leaving out the first note. Because that might match the recording a little bit better, the E minor. It just kind of depends on whether you want to kind of approach it as... kind of a, a lead guitar part thing or not. Uh, so you could kind of make some of those notes of the melody actually just the piece of the chord when you strum. I guess that's my point here. And then from there, then we go into our verse part. And our verse part actually takes a lot of those chords and kind of mixes it up. We start on B minor, and then we stay on B minor, and then we go to A major, and then we do another A major, and then we go to E minor, and another E minor, and then we do that B minor, and then we do the F sharp minor. But now instead of just down strums, it sounds like there's kind of eight downs on each one. So you'd have B minor 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, B minor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, A1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, A1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, B minor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, B minor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, B minor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, F sharp minor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And there's some really cool licks through that too, where you can kind of play fourth on the D, and then open B, and then two on the B, and then three on the B, and then back to two on the B, and then open B, and then fourth on the D. And that's kind of around that B minor, so you could even use that as kind of the chord. Oh, two, three, two, oh, four. You kind of use that idea of like strumming the chord for some of the notes of the lick. And then on the A, then we're going two on the D, two on the G, open B, two on the B, and then open B, but we're gonna do a hammer on pull off the second fret. So I'm kind of playing the open B, putting my finger down on the second fret, and then pulling it right back off of the open B. And then we go to second fret on the G after that. So we got two, two, oh, two, oh, two, oh, two, oh, two kind of around the A chord. That, that idea of the chord for part of the lick. And then we end up on the E minor chord where you do D string on the second, open G, open B, third fret on the B, and then we do the hammer on pull off idea, but now from second to third fret on the B string. So I'm playing two and kind of doing my hammer on the third, pull off back to two, and then open B and then open G. So going E, G, B, D, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, G, or if you're working that chord idea. substitute that in for part of the lick and then we go fourth on the D and then open D and then second on the A and then second on the low E and then open D and then that C sharp note which is kind of like our intro tag too so that's all around that B minor where we got that four oh two two oh four is part of the F sharp minor and then we got kind of another F sharp minor and, and then from there, then we go into to kind of like a pre-chorus part, if you want to kind of think about the last part as kind of being the chorus, where we go to a G major chord. We kind of start on the F sharp minor, but then we go to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E on the third fret, and third finger on the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to back to the B minor chord. So, and through that part, it's still kind of that eight down. So, on the pre chorus, you got kind of F sharp, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, B minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, B minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. Now, through that part, actually, we've got some really, really long notes where we're kind of playing in, in and off that B minor lick that we were talking about. And then kind of the F sharp minor, and then we're just kind of holding on to that through all the F sharp minors. And we we finally hit the G major chord. We just play second fret on the A string, and then we kind of play second fret on the A string again for for the OG, and then we stay on that second fret on the A string for our B minor. <laughs> so your lead part through that part is going to be kind of open A, and then two on the A string, two on the A string. 
two on the A string. So we just kind of have that open A for, for that first F sharp minor. And then we go second fret on the A string for the G. And then we do another second fret on the A string for G. And then we play second fret on the A string for the B minor. So we're kind of working around that idea. So then you got F sharp minor. kind of do through that though I guess to kind of kind of throw in some of those melody notes is on the F sharp minor you could play the open you could kind of do your F sharp minor and then kind of throw in the open A and then hit your two for your bass on the G chord and then kind of do that again A string B chord 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 A string chord 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 A string you can even kind of double it up if you wanted to and then from there we go into kind of our which is actually kind of changing keys into the key of, of F major or D minor, F major, although we don't play F major. But what we do is we go to a D minor chord kind of for our chorus, and we play D minor, first finger is going to go to the high on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret, and if you strum the top four strings, just the D, G, B, and E, that sounds a D minor chord, it sounds really, really sad. And then from the D minor on our chorus, we're going to be going to a C major chord, and we play C major. First finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, it sounds really, really happy. And then from C major, we're going to be going to a G minor chord, so it's kind of a sad G. And, and the way you play G sharp or G minor is the first finger is going to do the bar across the third fret. This is going to look a lot like the F sharp minor shape. And then we're going to take three and put them on the A string on the fifth fret, and the pinky is going to go to the D string on the fifth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G minor. It sounds really, really sad. But just like the F sharp minor, if you, just, if you don't want to kind of avoid the full bar, you can actually kind of take little pieces of the G minor. So any number of strings on the third fret could sound like a G minor. And then from the G minor, we're going to go back to D minor, and then we go to an A minor chord, and the way you play A minor, so now it's a sad A instead of a happy A, and the way you play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D on the second fret, and third finger on the G string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to go back to the D minor for just kind of a big down at the very, very end. So, and through that part is still kind of that down, that eight downs on each one, so we try it that way. On the chords we have D minor, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, D minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, D minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, D minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, A minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then kind of a big D minor. There's some really cool licks through that too, where we start open A, and then open D, second on the D, third fret on the D, open G, and then open G, and then second fret on the G for, for kind of the D minor. So oh, oh, two. And then you got open G for the C chord, and then third fret on the A, second fret on the D, open G, and then third fret on the D, and then second fret on the D. And now we're kind of doing arpeggios around the, these chords instead. So on the C chord, C's are normally C's, E's, and G's. Now you're playing G, C, B, G, F, E, kind of around that chord. Or kind of looking for that idea of strumming the chord to get the lick in instead of that. If you're on your own, that's a good idea. And then from there on the G minor, we with the lick on the G minor is we got third fret on the low E, first fret on the D, open D, open G, and then third fret on the D, and then open G, and then second fret on the G. So now we're kind of arpeggiating a little bit of G minor. We're going G, B flat, D, G, F, G, A. Or if you're kind of playing around with that chord idea. You <laughs> kind of have to cheat that one a little bit. Uh, some of those same notes, though, you could play like up the neck. So another way to do that one actually is an alternative. You could do third on the low E, and then sixth on the low E for the B flat note. And then fifth fret on, on the A string for the for the D note, and then fifth fret on the G string for the G note, and then the three on the D, and then back to, to five, and then you could kind of even slide to seven if you wanted to. Same notes, different place. G B flat D G F G A. <laughs> 
I want to play around with that too. And then the, on that last D minor, we got uh, three on the B string. Or whoa, whoa, second fret on the G string. And that was kind of an arpeggio around the D minor chord, which is the DF is an A. So we're going A on the G string, second fret. And then we're going third fret on the D, open D, open A, and then third fret on the D, and then second fret on the, on the D. So we're going A, F, D, A, F, E. Or if you're kind of playing around with that chord idea, D minor, F, D, A, 3, 2, A minor. And then at the very end on that last D minor, we kind of come in with our D minor idea from earlier. We go open A, open D, 2, 3, on the D string, open G, open G, second fret on the G. Or you're kind of working that around that, that first open down. minor in too. So all together from the very beginning we kind of start with our intro where we got the B minor, 2, 2, 4, O, oh, 2, 2, 2, 4 slide, open A, open E, open A, 4, 2, O, oh, 4 on the A, and then E minor, oh, 3, 2, 2, O, oh, 2, 2, 4, and then we got the B minor for the 4, O, oh, 2, 2, open D, 4 on the A string for that sharp minor. And then we'll be going into what we're calling our verse. We got that B minor, and then we got kind of our, our lick with the four, oh, two, three, two, oh, four. And then we get to the A major, and then we got the two, two, oh, two, oh, two, oh, two, and then the E minor, two, oh, oh, three, two, three, two, oh, oh, and then the B minor. F sharp minor, F sharp minor, open A, and then two on the A string for the G, two on the A string for the G, two on the A string for B minor, and then we kind of change keys going into the last part. We got the D minor, the open A, O D two three, O O two, and then the C for the G. Kind of do that with that three, six, five, five, three, five, five, six, seven, at the end. And then you got the D minor with the two, three, oh, oh, three, two, on for the A minor. And then we're back to the D minor for the open A, oh, two, three, oh, oh, two. But that's the basics of how you could play through the path uh, from The Last of Us soundtrack. So good luck!